Over the last few years, the world of the light commercial vehicle fleet manager has become a lot more complicated. In the past, a fleet manager would buy a van, get it converted, and then give it to the driver to get on with the job. Whilst fleet managers have always taken risk management seriously, the new corporate manslaughter and health and safety sentencing guidelines make this area even more critical. Meet John. He runs a major fleet of 500 vans for a business which turns over £120 million in the UK. The vans are maintained and converted by a local supplier. John stresses the importance of safe and courteous driving to his team. The vans even have a number to call on the back to report poor driving. It's a Monday morning in November and it's wet and cold. Derek, one of John's drivers, is making a delivery just outside Gloucester. Derek has been with the business for seven years and is a hard worker who is well liked and trustworthy. Derek is driving along within the speed limit when a moped rider pulls out in front of him. Derek hammers on the brakes, but unfortunately it's not enough to avoid a collision. The police are called and it is confirmed that the accident is not Derek's fault. Unfortunately, the moped driver, Jane, is not in a good way and may have life-changing injuries. Derek is in shock, but okay. In the fleet manager's office, everyone is quiet and reflective, and John, while sad, is feeling relieved that the accident is not Derek's fault. However, the police are coming to talk things through with John to learn more about the fleet records. At this point, things get a bit more complex. It seems like Derek's van was overloaded and the tread on one of the tires was under the legal limit. The police ask John for a copy of all driving licenses, a copy of the driver's pre-use checks, a copy of the converter's documentation, which details maximum available payload details, a copy of the company distraction policy. At this point, John is feeling uneasy. It seems like he does not have a copy of Derek's driving license. Derek is a good guy and turns up in his car every day, so he must have a driving license, right? John does have the service history for the van, but not weekly or daily check sheets. However, John does have the van sales brochure, which details the maximum payload. The converter did not provide any payload details. John does not have a distraction policy. However, all vans have Bluetooth phones fitted. Apparently, Derek was on a call with Depot at the time of the incident. Things seem to be getting more serious. The health and safety executive is speaking to the operations director, Eleanor. There is a risk of a fine of up to 1.5 million pounds, and even the potential for custodial sentences of up to two years. Eleanor is very concerned. John, the fleet manager, is suspended at this point, and the fleet is grounded with severe commercial implications, as it's becoming clear that the current processes are a long way from best practice. The scenario we've just heard is the fleet manager's recurring nightmare. A serious incident involving one of your vehicles. New sentencing guidelines mean that those companies who breach health and safety regulations can receive unlimited fines or be sentenced for up to two years. So where does that put you, the hardworking fleet manager? Are you following best practice? And what does best practice look like? If you're in the majority, the answer is probably something like this. Yes, no, we're getting there. And how do you chase a moving benchmark such as best practice? It's not easy. And how does a fleet manager do all of this on top of an already demanding workload? The good news, we can help. Bot customers benefit from a complimentary free compliance health check. Whilst ultimately the business owner is responsible for their fleet, the bot team can help by sharing our knowledge of best practice and by giving you a structured action plan, which provides the tools and contacts to enable you to get the job done. As part of the process, Bot will connect you with the right industry experts to review your wider corporate approach to fleet safety. This will give you a clear understanding of best practice, an independent review of your fleet, and a clear action plan to enable you to achieve best practice. The end result, you'll know where you are today, where you need to be, and you'll have a plan and the tools to get there. You'll be making a very real contribution to road safety through proactive risk management, and unlike John, you know that you're taking an active approach to the critical area of your operations. A way to reduce costs without taking risk. If you want a cost-effective, compliant fleet, talk to Bot.